I look at y'all and I feel really old. <laughs> I got a birthday coming up and that isn't a fun one. I have, I have a paper. I have a paper because I don't know how to put my poetry on my phone. <laughs> And I, and I had the wrong glasses on page. <laughs> I can see. I broke my bifocals, so. Uh, this is called Silence. This is actually, this is new shit. New shit! But it's revised, so it also is old shit. <laughs> okay, this is called silence. The self-examination at the pinnacle of aloneness, the mountaintop of wisdom, where one could contemplate the chaos and extract some small thing of value has become solipsism. My own arrogance of understanding, of tasting the silence as a place of peace, is now laughably naive. Train whistles in the night are punctuation for silence. Silence is enhanced by a snore from someone you love. But the pinnacle of aloneness is something bigger and more dangerous when it, comes, when it contains a vacuum. Those missing sounds that you barely heard so you move and you fill the house with noise, music, and voices. You keep busy, hands and minds, because when you stop moving, vicious, enormous silence grows larger and louder and attacks the psyche with the silence of solitude and the absence that it discloses. <laughs> 